My dad uh, comes from a little town in uh, in uh, County Monaghan in Ireland. Came from a little town called uh, Cortard, and the next really big town to where he grew up would have been uh, Portadown. And uh, a few years ago, uh, I was over playing some gigs in the north, and I played a gig in Portadown. And as often happens over there, after the gig, you get dragged off to a pub somewhere, kicking and screaming. And I got dragged off to this place called McConville's, beautiful old school pub, you know, with the tile floors and a line of snugs along the wall with the doors that close and a little thing you pull here, makes a tab go up behind the bar to tell the bartender you need, you need another drink. And I got to talking with the bartender, Eamon, and uh, when I first met Eamon, uh, he was 55 years old. He'd been working in the pub uh, since he was 15, knew where all the skeletons were buried. And he loved that place, man. It was his, uh, it was his heart and soul, and uh, he wouldn't rest. But that before I left the pub, uh, he insisted I had to have a drink of their whiskey because they brewed their own whiskey on site called McConville's. And uh, I'll make the confession right now that I am not a fan of your smoky Scotch whiskeys. You can take your Lafroigs and your McAllens and your Glenlivets and your Glenfiddichs. Uh, I won't have a bar of them. I like a good, nice, clean, non-smoky Irish whiskey. That's what I like, if you're asking. And uh, so Eamon poured me out a, poured me out a dram, and then he, he uh, poured water into it because he insisted that he had to drink it with cold water. And I tasted it, and uh, verily, it was good. If my Uncle Eddie would have said, you'd have thought the angels were peeing on your tongue. And he was a Jesuit, so he knew. And uh, my dad was feeling poorly on this side of the water at the time, and I thought it would be great if I could bring him back a bottle of something that was brewed near where he lived. So I asked him, and I said, could I take a bottle back uh, from a poor Aelin Da? And he said, uh, no. I said, really? And he said, really. And I said, well, why not? And he said, well, the only place, the, the, it's been the rule here f since the pub opened that the only place you can drink McConville's is in McConville's. We don't sell bottles to take on. And I said, really? He said, really? And I said, you're telling me in 90 years a bottle of that whiskey has never gone out the door. He said, well, he said there was once. And he told me that he was the cause of it, and this is the story that he told me about that. I work down at McConville. That's the pub behind the square. If ever you're in Portadown, anyone can point you there. We have loggers, ales, and porters. But the thing that brings them in is the whiskey that McConville brews. That's where this all begins. In all the years I've worked there, and for 50 years before, not a bottle of the sweet stuff ever walked outside the door. Cause McConville laid the rule down and it was honored till today. You can drink your fill while at the bar, but the bottle has to stay. Six or seven years ago, when young Jimmy first came by, he was looking for a local. We were the third place that he'd try. And he looked around, no ferns, no telly blaring from the bar. And once he tried the whiskey, Jimmy never strayed too far. Come in after dinner for an hour, maybe more. And play some cards and talk and joke, cause that's what a local's for. Before he'd leave most nights, because the bottles had to stay. He'd ask me for a whiskey, just to see him on his way.
And three days ago his mate came in And he said Jimmy took a fall From a roof that he was working on He had no chance at all And today after the funeral After burying young Jim They came here to his second home Mourners crowded in Then I did a thing I never thought I'd do till it was done I took a bottle from the shelf I held it up for everyone And I said rules are made for breaking Tonight the whiskey leaves the bar Auction for the family who will give me 50 pounds to start. And at 500 pounds, the bidding stopped. And no yuck couldn't hear a sound before the roar. As Jimmy's mate stepped up and laid their pay packs down And I can't believe I did it I never thought I'd see the day That I'd hand someone the bottle And then watch it walk away And as I was headed home tonight I passed the graveyard by I swear that I heard singing and silhouetted on the sky with Jimmy's friends and they were pouring something on his grave a little offering for young Jim to see him on his way And I worked down at McConville's. That's the pub behind the square. If ever you're in Porter Down, anyone will point you there. Thank you. I'll just leave you with one more here. I'd like to thank you all for being here, and uh, I won't add anything to what anybody else says uh, said, uh, except that the the sound is stunning. You guys, just amazing. I feel like I'm playing in the Vatican or something. And um, I've already been twitting and tweeting and Facebooking, so do the same. <laughs>